Once upon a time, in a small village nestled among rolling fields and towering trees, there lived a friendly and adventurous dog named Max. Max had a shimmering coat of golden fur, playful brown eyes, and a wagging tail that would brighten anyone's day. One sunny morning, as Max wandered through the village, he spotted a young man named Jack sitting under a massive oak tree, deep in thought. Curiosity seized Max's heart, and he bounded toward the stranger. Jack looked up and smiled as Max approached. From that day forward, an inseparable bond formed between Jack and Max. They spent their days exploring the countryside, chasing butterflies, and splashing in the nearby river. Max's infectious zest for life allowed Jack to forget his worries and embrace the simple joys of each passing moment. Max also became Jack's loyal confidant. They shared secrets, dreams, and fears under the starlit sky. Jack found solace in Max's unwavering presence, for he always knew that Max would understand, listen, and offer a paw to hold. As the seasons changed, so did their adventures. In the winter, Max would eagerly pull Jack on his sled, their laughter resonating through the frosty air. In the spring, they would lie beneath blooming cherry blossoms, their faces kissed by delicate petals. One stormy night, a thunderous crash startled Max, leaving him trembling with fear. He rushed to find Jack, who was anxiously huddled in a corner, seeking refuge from the lightning's wrath. Without hesitation, Max nestled beside his friend, offering warmth and love in the face of the storm's fury. Over the years, Max's exuberance faded, and his once golden muzzle turned gray. Age had caught up with him, slowing his once quick strides. Jack, now a wise old man, watched Max's decline with a heavy heart. He knew that their time together was limited. One peaceful summer evening, Max laid his head gently on Jack's lap, his eyes filled with love and gratitude. Jack whispered his appreciation for Max's unwavering friendship, his voice choked with emotion. In that moment, Max's tail wagged faintly, as if to say, thank you for every moment we shared. With tears in his eyes, Jack knew that the time had come to say goodbye. As Max took his final breath, a hushed stillness enveloped the village. The villagers, who, 